stock of the day out of some news, Bendigo and Adelaide Bank uh, taking over ANZ's $715 million investment lending portfolio, bringing its own margin lending balance there to more than $2 billion. That deal expected to be finalised in the first half of 23. And uh, just taking a look at the relative share prices there, um, actually, um, they were initially negative, now moving back into positive only just. So, Chris, how are you looking at uh, Bendigo and Adelaide at this point? Yeah, just on that deal, Andrew, I work with a, a few younger fellows who are a, a sub 30 in terms of their age. And uh, I was speaking to them about margin lending and they were sort of like, what? What's margin lending now? That's a bit tongue in cheek. Of course, they knew what it was. But, you know, obviously, margin lending was massive prior to the GFC, um, it totaled nearly $42 billion uh, before the onset of the GFC. And as it stands today, it's about $17 billion overall in terms of margin lending facilities. And as you just said, Bendigo is now upping their stake to about $2 billion of that. But it's certainly not the market that it used to be. And I guess that's part of the point here is the regionals need to get a little bit creative because they don't have the same uh, access to funding. Um, when things go the wrong way, their net interest margins get impacted more. So they've got to be a little bit more creative with the type of businesses that they operate. This could end up being a very good business um, and a very little, a good little earner for Bendigo and Adelaide. Um, I don't particularly like the regionals though more broadly, like I said, for those reasons that I was just talking about, you know, their, their funding costs are higher. Uh, and they tend to get whacked uh, the other way when things start to get compressed. So uh, I'd much pr rather be playing in the big four uh, when it comes to the banks. Okay, so just a no then as far as Bendigo and Adelaide is concerned. David, um, do you concur? Yes, tend, tend to have a ver very similar view. Um, we've got a whole recommendation on, on Bendigo. Uh, our analysts have actually just been through a a review of the the banking sector and slightly downgraded our earnings forecasts for this year for for Bendigo, uh, slightly increased for for the next year, uh, and we've decreased our target price target price of nine dollars seventy on on Bendigo. Uh, this was prior to today's announcement, I have to say, uh, but it's probably unlikely that today's announcement will will make a significant difference. It does mean that the bank. Uh, really becomes the leader in in margin lending in the country, uh, which, as Chris said, used to be a, a major uh, part of investment markets. Less so now, um, but certainly with uh, with the markets having come off quite a bit, uh, there may well be a, a little bit more interest in uh, in people borrowing some money to to invest. Uh, traditionally, margin lending does have a higher uh, lending rate, uh, interest rate that's charged. So there is the potential that they can get a little bit better net interest margin from that book. But obviously, it's fairly volatile and uh, and has a, a, a very close alignment to markets. 